Hey you! So, I hope y'all are having a good rest of your day, or just your present day, I guess. Um, I hope you're having a good, uh, having a good time. That's the main point. However, today, what is happening is on X, uh, Gavin Newsom is, uh, trending. Why? Not sure. I mean, he's not a good person, so... I mean, the, 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 the tag is Newscum, so... Nobody likes him, nobody wants him, uh, but he is the, uh, leader of, well, leader of California, and, I don't know, <laughs> uh, today because of Newscom fixing the homeless problem, <laughs> it's not fixed, what is this, uh, are you looking for a new deal on used wheels? Come on down to Gavin Newsom's used car lot. We're slashing our prices on all big brand cars. You name it, we got it. Top quality used cars for unbelievable deals. So come on down to Newsom's used ones. Our prices are a guaranteed slam dunk. Newsom's used ones. Are you looking for a new deal on- Man, AI is wild. I, I love it though. Oh, what is this? Hey stupid, Gavin Newsom. This is why thousands of people are leaving whole California Newscom. The perfect name for you. Banning new gas diesel powered RV sales. Wow, it is all liberal. All liberals. That Gavin sucks. That the- That is- That is- the main point of this entire video, Gavin sucks. But you already knew that. Um, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna read this and uh, then I have a post-millennial article that is a little bit prepared. I didn't read it, but I mean, I figure as much as, as to what it's gonna be about. Okay, I have to take Newscom to the woodshed again. Trump's taking away federal funding for EV rebates. So, Dum Dum in California says, California taxpayers will pay for it. He also said that he is excluding Tesla from rebates. So, EVs make up 26% of new car sales in California. Tesla has 60% market share. Tesla has a factory in Vermont, California. Will Elon take another big business out of California? New Scum is a freaking idiot. What do you bet he blows the freaking grid? California is 2 billion in debt, and that is his business decisions. Can't make this ish up. Go F yourself, Gavin. Now, wanna bring up this article of Elon talking about Newsom after Tesla excluded from California. The governor's office told the outlet that the current proposal includes market share limitations that would not include Tesla's popular electric vehicle models. But the details will be under negotiation with state lawmakers and could change in the future. The office said, It is about creating the market conditions for more of these car makers to take root. Musk wrote in response to the reporting, even though Tesla is the only company that manufactures their EVs in California, this is insane. Tesla's first factory was set up in Vermont, California, and the company also operates a mega factory, Lathrop, and other facilities in the state. The headquarters used to be in the state, but was moved to Texas. Currently, Tesla is part of the federal tax credit program that gives buyers a 7,500 tax credit. Newsom said in a statement, Consumers will continue to prove the skeptics wrong. Zero emission vehicles are here to stay. We will intervene if the Trump administration eliminates the federal tax credit, doubling down on our commitment to clean air and green jobs in California. We are not turning back on a clean transportation future. We're going to make it more affordable for people to drive vehicles that don't pollute. Newsom is an idiot. And what that and what Southern Grace said about how he's going to cut he's going to blow the the grid. Yeah, he absolutely is. Does does California even have the infrastructure to support that much electricity going around? I mean, I kind of doubt it. I just do, in general. You need oil 
to produce electric. And so you can't go 100% green. That, that literally doesn't work. You need oil to make the electricity work in the first place. But that isn't the only news. Because, I mean, Gavin sucks. And he is, he's, he's making the loops around uh, the internet as of right now. But with, uh, with what is happening with Trump being in power, with the whole entire uh, getting rid of immigrants, is uh, Gavin Newsom is planning to, you know, not help Trump in that. In fact, I'm, I'm assuming he's going to even try and stop Trump from being able to do that. However, however, there's a California mayor who seeks legal aid as he vows to aid Trump admin in deport while bucking Newsom's sanctuary state laws. Let's go. And he states, I want to make it clear right now that El Cajun is not a sanctuary city. We're going to do everything we can to work with the federal government in help ease this immigration problem. Help solve this problem. But why listen to a quote or hear a quote or see a quote or read the quote when you can have the man say it himself? There's a post from X that uh, was reposted by the Post Millennial. Let's check it out. And this is Bill Wells. I'm the mayor of the city of El Cajon. My apologies, I said El Cajun. El Cajon. There we go, I got it right. <laughs> and there's a lot of talk about sanctuary cities and the sanctuary state of California. I want to make it clear right now that El Cajon is not a sanctuary city. We're going to do everything we can to work with the federal government to help ease this immigration problem, help solve this problem. The problem we're facing in El Cajon is that state law, state of California law, says that if a police officer does his duty that we're asking him to do, by complying with the federal government, that police officer can be charged with a felony and lose his pension. So that puts us in a really serious situation because it basically takes uh, frontline police officers and puts them in the middle of this political crisis, this political argument between the city, the state, and the feds. I just want you to know we're working on this problem. I'm getting legal opinions. I'm reaching out to organizations to help give us legal uh, assistance in fighting the state of California. I'm going to fight the state of California tooth and nail over this. I want you to know that I am going to do everything I can to make El Cajon part of the solution of this horrible immigration problem and not be used by the state of California to circumvent federal law. One of the things that you could do would be to send emails to every assembly member and every state senator in the state of California and the state attorney general, Rob Bonta, and of course the governor, and tell them that you do not want to be part of being a sanctuary state and that you will rise up like the rest of the nation has done and throw these guys out of office if they don't comply. I need your help. Let's fight this thing together. There we go. That is the energy we need in in California now. We need more people like him in California who are, who are standing up against the tyranny that is Gavin Newsom. Imagine telling people, hey, don't do your job or, you're get, or you will get arrested or face felony charges. Imagine telling people to not do their job or they will have that problem. It's like, why are they there? What are they? They are there to look pretty. That is their entire job, is to look pretty. That's it. They're not even doing their job because they can't. They're just there to, to be a tro They're a trophy wife. The police are a trophy wife in California right now. <laughs> they're just to look pretty, but say nothing. Say nothing. Anywho, this is all culminating. This is all coming together in America with red counties in California, Illinois, they move to secede and form their own states. If you guys uh, have been paying attention, watching other uh, YouTubers and such and stuff, like Charlie Kirk, then you will know that most of America voted Republican, and by most, I mean like, but most by surface area, because 
the cities are a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people. But, for example, in California, it is mostly just the cities that voted liberal. The rest of California voted Republican. And that is a bunch of malarkey. Because that means that every Republican in California may as well not vote. Because it's immediately going to be taken over by, by the cities because they have so many people. But finally, we are having common sense breakthrough where these people are saying no more to this tomfoolery that is going on with Newsom and Illinois. Because they're, 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 Illinois, it's just Chicago. California, it's just LA. The rest of California says, we want Trump. The rest of Illinois says, we want Trump. But it is because of those two massive cities that the rest of the country or rest of the state doesn't really matter with our vote. And so, I am happy with this. This is a good move. I think it is weird though, how it is only the cities that are always liberal. I... That, that is something I've realized. It, like... Within every place, it is always the city that is predominantly liberal. Everywhere else, conservative or Republican or whatever you want to state. But they're typically not all. They're not. The, the cities are typically just never Republican, never conservative, never that. Always liberal or Democratic, whatever you want to. Whatever term you want to use. Secession is brewing in the U.S. But it is not pitted one region against another. Instead, Republican dominant counties in blue states are pushing to secede and form their own states. In one very liberal state, the movement is being sold as a way to leave Illinois without moving. And it is gaining momentum following the stunning victory by President elect Donald Trump in the November 5th election. Some conservative residents in blue states decide to pick up and move to a red state where the taxes are lower and the regulations are light. The influx of GOP voters to Nevada may have helped flip that state for Trump. Other rural residents who are sick of woke politics and the high cost of living, however, are wondering why they can't just stay put and declare themselves independent. The New York Post reported on election day, seven rural counties in Illinois approved an incentive to secede. Anywho, point is, they want to leave, and I couldn't be happier with that. I wonder how that's going to work with the whole entire electoral state, or electoral vote thing? I don't know how... If they do secede in the, in the map I have seen, I don't have it pulled up, but... If they do secede in that manner, that is... It's going to look a little bit weird. Gonna look a little bit weird, but I want to see how this works. I want to see how it goes, cause this is this is a win. This is a win. Anywho, that is where I want to leave this on. I'm super happy. I'm super stoked that these people, these these smart people, like the California mayor of uh, El Cajon, are leaving. Or at least working in opposition to Gavin New Newsom for being an idiot. I'm super stoked that we are finally getting a bit of wisdom, per se, in uh, in 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 America. Cause staying with a country or staying with a state that is actively saying that they that they're gonna allow people who shouldn't be there to stay there is just it's just silly it is stupid and it makes no sense anywho hope y'all have a good rest of your day have a good one